Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies, your leaders in power products. Um, today I'd just like to quickly touch base on how to run uh, and connect solar to one of our slimline lithium batteries or any of our batteries that have got the Anderson plug, our 75s are the same as well. Um, a little bit of, a few people are confused because there's only one Anderson on this one um, because it's got the uh, DC to DC. So as you're all aware, we've got a slim line with, without a DC to DC, it has two gray Anderson plugs. Um, the one with DC to DC has one gray Anderson and one blue Anderson plug. Now, without a DC to DC, the two gray Anderson plugs are still connected directly to the battery cells inside. So both of those gray Anderson plugs can be used for power in and for power out, and at the same time, no problems at all. So ultimately, you could have the fridge plugged into one gray Anderson plug, and you could have your solar panel or whatever uh, else plugged into the other gray Anderson. But to, for today's purposes, I've got the one here with the DC to DC in, so it's got the blue Anderson plug. So the blue Anderson plug is purely and solely an input for the DC to DC charger that's built into this unit. You can't plug solar into it, and the reason being is the lithium battery has a BMS inside, so the battery monitoring system, or management system monitoring, whichever way you want to put it. It protects the battery for over and under voltage, as well as temperature and, uh, and current and so forth. So the main reason is it'll, if it gets over 15 volts, it shuts the battery down. And as you know, solar is around 18 to 20 volts to be putting a charge in. So ultimately you can't go into that, um, that because the BMS would shut it down. Um, and it is, as I said, it's on the input side. It's not actually even going directly to the battery. It's going to the charger. Then the charger's pulling the, the current through that. And that's the other reason is because the charger in here is a 20 amp charger. So if you're plugging just a mate, 120 watt solar blanket that's putting out five to seven amps, it's gonna try and pull all that through that circuit all the time, even though it's not designed to, because lithium will pull whatever you can throw at it. So it's, it's not a good thing to do. So all your, basically 99% of your portable um, solar blankets, um, solar panels have a regulator either built in or they come with a regulator anyway. So you might as well make use of them. Plus it gives you the versatility that you can plug that into any battery. Um, these come with the little uh, alligator clips to plug into there as well. So you can put it on your starter battery and that as well. So it's a good thing to have specifically for um, specifically for, for safety reasons and things like that if you're out in the bush. So just to, um, to emphasize on that, we've got the one gray Anderson plug, which is basically directly connected to the battery. So people will go, yeah, but if I put solar into that, I can't run anything else. So there comes this little baby here, which is a, our, our version of a Anderson Y adapter. So that quite simply plugs into there. So now I have my fridge and you'll hear a beep in a sec. Fridge is now on. Ideally, we were going to shoot this outside, um, but we went out before and it's yucky, cloudy, raining, so no good for solar. So ultimately, we're back in here. So now, obviously, a uh, good habit to get into, always plug your regulator into your battery before you plug your solar. Um, mainly because, uh, like for this one, for instance, and a lot of other um, ones on the market, there are dual charging circuits. So this will do 12 volt and 24 volt battery systems. So it needs to know, it sees a load off the battery first to know what type of battery system you've got, whether it's 12 volt or 24, because you don't want to get them mixed up, obviously, for obvious reasons. So therefore then, it'll automatically set it. So once I plug this in, it's now onto the battery. It will now automatically be set uh, as for the 12 volt system and set up for 12 volt and ready to go. All I need to do now is pull out my solar blanket. Uh, as you can see by the little picture here, it's got a little red Anderson plug coming out of it, but you wouldn't have this obviously right next to it because you don't want all this out in the sun, but you do need that out in the sun. So it comes with a, a five meter extension lead anyway. So keep your blanket out in the sun, um, run the extension lead from the uh, solar panel uh, down into the red input for here and then obviously that will then do its business and this is rated up to 20 amps so obviously a 120 watt blanket is going to be around that five to seven amp mark uh, in weather permitting and uh, so therefore then that's what will be trickle charging into your battery and that's as simple as it is it's uh, not hard and if you need to run uh, any more appliances you can either uh, have this, rather than going through this parallel lead, you can just have this, say, connected to something like this, 
So this will then plug into the battery and then you connect this to a distribution panel or a, a distribution block or a buzz bar or whatever and then run all your loads, whether they be loads to devices and all your power into the same points because ultimately it's the same positive and negative. So you can do it that way, uh, or as I said, you can just do the, um, the system of Y leads or you can make up your own little distribution box if you want to as well. But yeah, nice and simple, easy to do. Um, show me I've got 13.3 volts in the, in the battery and then obviously it would show you the amps and uh, the watts and everything that'll be coming from the solar once the solar panel's plugged in. So there you go, guys. Um, if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call or click on one of the links below. And uh, until next time, bye for now.